right, all my YouTube friends, here we are. I got a couple yards worth of mulch in there. Here's where we're at today. Putting in some black liner around the sidewalk. Gonna bring mulch on in. But you do want to dig this out. If you're going to do this project, just get her dug out to where you can fit that right in, then put your dirt right back over. And there's what it, this is what the difference that it changes it. Once we put our weed barrier down, we'll mulch it, but that is the difference that it gives it. For anyone that's got this idea that you're thinking about wanting to do it. So here we are. We're gonna pull all the blocks out and we'll clean all this up and then we'll lay our mulch in and lay the blocks back in. So I'll let you guys uh, watch us do this also when we start that part there. Getting this done. We redid all the bricks. We uh, took shovels, dug all that out, reset them in there. We had to pull some plants and some other things like that. But, you know, this is some of it. There's where it's at. But you know, something I want to tell you everybody is last year we done this job over here. But if you guys see his grandson, every time he mows, he blows the grass on the mulch. He spent good money to have this job done. We cleaned all the weeds out, dug it down, made sure nothing would be there. But when you're blowing grass like that all over your mulch, you're throwing seeds. And then it seeds itself and it starts growing weeds and things like that. So he wants us to come over here after we're done and uh, straighten some things up. So we'll take some of this extra mulch if we have any left and <clears throat> we'll try to get this man together over there. But here it is guys, this is, uh, this is where we're at so far here. I've been taking mulch and shoveling it in and dumping it down there for him so he can get this together and we'll move on around the house. And it's always nice just to keep a tarp with you because anytime you have stuff, you know, in the middle of uh, doing this, you can just always toss it in a tarp, drag your tarp along. Keeps you from making 50 trips back and forth to your uh, truck to dump. We just ate lunch. So now we're back to getting busy here. And I'm going to tell you, I'm not sponsored and in no ways because my channel isn't even to a thousand subscribers but if you guys could it does help if you would subscribe and and give me a thumbs up but that gorilla cart is one of the best items yet that I have bought since we've handy. been into this yeah it's handy it's great you see how he just I mean it holds a lot of mulch and it's just it's well, nice well, yeah yeah, so there we are, guys. I'll keep on taking you with me through this. Keep on keeping on. But I can't wait till the day I can set this up to where you guys can just watch it. But I'd still have to cut it because it would be a long video. Wow. So I just like to try to show you guys steps of it right now to how how we're doing it. And if you want to do it, it's it's not hard. Just get you some of those. Um, 
Where's those little pins, Melvin? Right there. Yeah, these pins, you shove that through your, um, weed your barrier. weed barrier and it holds it in place. And, and then, in case it's windy out, it helps. see that little spot back there? We covered it up because a rock's going to set there. So that's if it's windy, you can use those. Yeah, and pins are great. Pins it right down. You don't have to put a bunch in it, about every four foot. That's about how we do it. So, alrighty. I'll take you along when we get on over here because he wants us to pull this out. We're about to dig this up and take it down and we're pulling this little bush out here. All right, everybody. I just want to show this. The, if you're going to plant bushes along your basement, just always think what could come with that aftermath. See these roots? are grown over it calls this here to crack and it goes all the way down to here I see this root oh shoot I just broke it but you can see it right there they're growing right into his wall and it's caused it to push the bricks in and that crack goes all the way down his wall there. So that's why he had us cut that. Because he says, I can't figure out why my wall has cracked. So I showed him. I said, well, we've read in this before. These trees get big, the roots grow nice and big. And they will go right there along the block and they start growing into the side of the block and it puts the pressure on the bricks and it breaks the seams where they tuck point so that's i just want to show everybody that all right everybody here it is this is what she looks like Another happy customer. Definitely is. We went around this tree for him. We put the plastic around for him. Let's walk around on it. So you see we we made sure they were happy, cleaned everything, picked up after ourselves, because that is the number one thing about being in business. You don't want to leave a mess. You want to make sure you clean, clean, clean. So there it is. Everybody give me a thumbs up, ding that notification bell. Thank you for watching Keaton Junk Hauling and more brothers. We'll see you in the next video.